Hi, Cardinal Signs. I hope that you're doing absolutely fantastic. Thanks for joining for your next set of readings, which will run for February 26th, 27th, and 28th. The last set of these will be down below um, if you miss those, so check those out. Uh, those of you who are returning, welcome back to this channel. And those of you who are brand new, my name is Shannon, and I'm glad to have you. My channel is very, very uh, intense. I feel energy, and so when energy flow is coming through me, sometimes it's it's very forceful, okay? Uh, always for uprightness sake, but it could be very hard for you to um, to take sometimes. We look at a lot of criminal activity. Sorry about the, <laughs> about the camera. We look at a lot of criminal activity. It's just part of my... Um, Part of my gifting to uproot that kind of stuff in the earth. I'm not churchy or religious, but I'm going to come across that way really strong towards you. I'm just free spiritually, but I love uh, the word. The scriptures found in the tarot. I show you what Jehovah's name looks like in a uh, video down below if you want to look at that. Uh, he's an Elohim of war, not to start war, people, but to get up and fight for uprightness and, and, and things that are supposed to be for justice sake, okay? Um, so anyway, it gets real intense because of that kind of energy that we are uprooting in the earth. So just, just be forewarned. So if you stay, you stay. If you don't, you can't handle it, then that's fine. Thanks for checking me out and all that kind of stuff. Um, Otherwise, welcome to this channel. Let's get started here and see what's going to happen in this reading. Some big energies was coming out in the mutable and uh, fixed sign, which you can go watch the mutable sign reading. It is um, where the sun's at right now, so it affects all of us. So something's changing and things like that. Um, I will say, those of you who are going to watch the um, fixed sign reading, a lot of the energy was all obviously everything is intertwined we all have cargo fix and mutable energy in us and so they really were going together as always um but there was a word that came out after the fact that i turned the camera off and um it was the high priestess and the death card that came out side by side and uh, i was just compelled to go look up that word because as i began to put the uh cards back in the deck they just flew out together again and so i just looked it up one direction but there was a brother-in-law there okay there was an energy in the section of where that word was a brother-in-law energy was um connected to that so those of you who are watching the fixed sign reading that in something with your brother-in-law uh, with the connection of what was happening there was in that reading okay so anyway all right let's see what's going on you hope i just invite your presence here you hope a rebuke and bind and block every foul demonic wicked dark energy right here right now and just shove it down to the pit of hell where it belongs showed me cardinal sign energy capricorn cancer libra and aries what's going on with that from the 26th, the 27th, to the, the 28th. Okay, well, the Empress was there, and so was this. So was the six, uh, well, all this was, except for that. Okay, the Empress was in the fixed sign readings, okay? And so this is, you know, love at its finest. It's the letter Gimel in the Hebrew. So if you are new, I use Hebraic living language uh, definitions of some of these cards. You may not have ever heard that, okay? But it's it's living language. I use it. It's part of my heritage, and it's here. Uh, so the letter G, person, place, or thing, first middle, last name. We also have the Six of uh, Swords that was in that reading as well. This is leaving troubled waters behind. Um you, you could be dealing with your mother or your grandmother or something with pregnancies or projects or trip has also been coming out. There were secrets around some type of a situation. So uh, there's also real high volume intuition about something with the high priestess coming out here. It's the letter B. Um, we have a boat here, and I was saying, you know, the, the high priestess is the bet in the Hebrew, but it's also, I've heard it call, be called the, the bait. And we have... Um, uh, we have a trip here in a boat, okay, so something did happen for somebody, Was try they were freaking out, because if you look at this, I was pointing it out in the mutable sign, or the uh, fixed sign reading, there's sharp stuff that was coming through a boat, or something like that, or something, or somebody, you know, likes to tell you something also before it happens, so people are pretty be careful if you're fixing to go on some type of boat trip, or something like that, so for some of you all, this is past, because high priestess can represent past things, okay, 
but something like that was coming out. We have the, so the, the Bee Gees are here. Music stuff is here in this reading. Um, we've got, hold on a minute. Something very big is here. And there is a storm that's going on because it came out in the mutable sign readings and it came out in, in um, some type of a fearful type of thing was coming out in the fixed sign reading. And we have the, the gimel, which is the pictograph of the, uh, the leg, which is the pictograph looks like an L. And there's a gale storm here. So something has been a storm around something here. With that's been again, if this is just energetic for some people, it just won't be energetic. But for somebody, this really took place, something really happened, something secret around some type of a trip that happened. As we already know about a boat trip that did take place, but the, the, the other woman was there. There were lies and deceit, somebody did plot something. This is a strategizing card with the seven of swords. Somebody's guilty of what they did. The past and children are here. Or this is your parents and somebody was in nostalgia about something and they just really strategized something because of the past and they did. This is coming back around. This should have been a forgiveness for somebody. For some people, I guess that could be. It's something in the past is now coming back around. Somebody wants to face the truth and then I guess they are going to because the Empress would represent love at its finest and truth. If somebody wants to speak the truth, then let them speak it in love. Okay, um, but there is law around some stuff, and then we have somebody that was thrown out. This is, um, you know, feeling left out in the cold. Something like that was taking place here. It's a blast from the past. Again, your siblings could be here, your parents. There's another woman here. There's pregnancy issues and a project that was around something that was plotted, and there was stormy waters in a very big way. And it 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 it, it was by somebody who had money to do something. There were there was a wicked evil doer there. We also have the King of Swords that's showing up here at the bottom of this deck. Okay, well this is law. This is an X. This is a doctor, a lawyer, somebody very sharp. Um, the Falcon is here, so that's war energies as well. Let me just take a couple of the, I, I wasn't planning on taking all these cards, but they came out. Uh, but I'll take about three cards from the Rider Waite just to get more information here. Uh, we do have two cards, though, that can go back to some type of forgiveness. But, but um, there's something really big here, and there's a lot of money around something. There's something about somebody's heart, the, the, the love, I, or lo, I think that's how you say it in the Hebrew. That would represent your heart. So with the pictograph of the leg and um, the, uh, the B and the L is a bell, but the other direction is like a love and it represents your heart. Obviously, there was an issue here because somebody lied and strategized something here. And then something with money was here or a payout to throw somebody out or somebody, you know, was less fortunate or poor in spirit. Obviously, there was something here with the divorcee or the law or whatever. Somebody took a bribe and did something and they wickedly departed in a situation because somebody was forced to do something. Okay. See the hand here get taking the payout here. So and there was there there was some type of other woman around something. Let me look at this word. Okay, one direction of the gimel and the bet or the B and the G. There wasn't anything there, but that's a bug. And we do have transportation. So somebody's vehicle. Um, I can read this a couple different ways. Since we do have law here, somebody could have been bugged. Their home could have been bugged or something was bugged within something or something was just bugging somebody. But somebody could have driven a, a small car or a, like a bug or something like that. It was also come through my spirit. The other direction, the GB, uh, the gib or goob or however you would say that, means to lift or the back or a high arched curve of the back when digging that's interesting because the word that literally came out in the hebrew in another deck that i will be using the word was digging out a basin and somebody was was uh in a lot of fear for something that so we do have that so somebody was bent down trying to dig something and it's just giving us a you know reference to arch backs maybe somebody does have a real arch back about them i'm not sure uh could be uh there's something about a pit here or the work at the back of a digging a pit or a trench. So that is that is coming out here then. It is. So something is very prevalent with this for it to come out again. Okay? So, and there was something secret about whatever took place. 
Again, somebody was in a boat and they hit something or something was secret about a trip and if it was an accident or not, I don't know. Somebody did plot something, though, because it came out and somebody got something that came through where they were stuck out in water and they were trying to get the water out of something and, and it was planned that way, then it possibly it may have been, okay? You just never know, but it is coming out and so you let Jehovah speak God because he will confirm what he wants to say about a situation, okay? Because there was um, there was another party involved here because for some of you all, we have a secret woman here, okay? We have somebody who represents a wife or a mother here and we have an ex here. <clears throat> Show me energies, please, for cardinals. There is an investigation that's going on. Something, excuse me, something is going on. So secret exchanging is here. Again, the infinity, something very physical was exchanging. Somebody was trying to get their balance. There's, there's, there's boats in the background and water. So something did happen by water for some of you all. We have the water bearer showing up here. Somebody's very much known or something was said about something. This is the mouth. This is also somebody's face or somebody's in stardom. I, I apologize for that glare. Um, but this is the pay in the Hebrew. So the letter P. Okay, we have the BP here. So travel energy and maybe you work for a gas station I'm not sure uh, but we have a beep and then we have a, a, a bug here so there's a little car involved in some type of a connection here than it is here and something's known about something that was said from the mouth or blown out of the mouth or you're going to pay for what you said and so somebody secretly plotted something okay there was secret exchanging around a situation in case somebody was thrown out then they were in some type of a way maybe even a very physical way it's also something guided regardless if something bad happened because it's star in the negative is bad luck right we have the pig here, the PG. So if the movie industry energy here is here, then it is here. Or the pig, a derogatory word for um, uh, the police department. Or, and it's here. Okay, it's here. So we have somebody who's been very stingy and hanging on to something and greedy about something. And somebody also waiting and waiting and waiting. There's 10 pentacles. Uh, well, we got 15, 16, 17 pentacles. It's a lot of pentacles. We had a lot of money coming out in the other reading. Somebody had money to do whatever. And they were a, a spiritual leader as well that was in um, the uh, fixed sign reading. And, and everything. everything's intertwined. So both those readings really were going together. Um, wow. So, so we do have a lot of pentacles here. Something was secretly done within some type of a situation. And so there's stormy waters are here with this card somebody just tried they plotted something how can we do this and look from every angle it could be dealing with the teacher so this is the law mead but we were already getting the l here somebody's hanging up on their leg and the the pictograph is the leg with the gimel uh which represents a rich and generous so somebody did have lots of money and they did they did something something's happening here with stormy waters that's a prison card and we do have the law right here as well so we we definitely have somebody who's also in backwards organization there with that hangman showing up. So let's just take some um, cards here. I will be taking from this deck and a homemade deck um, that's got all kinds of different stuff written on it for more information for you cardinals. So a bowl is also here. With that B and that L that I was stating was a bell. So we got teacher's energy here as well. So there's teachers involved in something. Uh, then there is. What do you want to bring out here, please, for Cardinal? That's the moon. So we have a measuring cord for binding something. And counting the knots between the two points. That can also go back. Knots, I think, is kind of a lingo for um, boats and things like that. I, I want to say so. I could be wrong. But I, I want to say so. Something about knots or something like that. But there's a measuring core. we got somebody. Hang we got the hanging man here as well. Um, we also have bereavement and a grievous loss. Well, there was death there. There was death there. There's death of a friend. Or a relative that took place within something that was very, very stormy. Okay, but it was plotted. Something was very much plotted. So we have a commander. 
Okay, a lawgiver, an ordinance, or some type of a legal thing is here. Okay? Uh, so the moon does want to be shown here. Well, that's that's deception. That's hunting and chasing and laying down in ambush in the Hebrew. And um, somebody was hung up. They were crucified. That's a, or sacrificed in some type of a stupid way within something. Because we know that somebody was blackmailed to do it. I will be taking from my other deck here in just a second. Yo, but what do you want to bring out here, please, for cardinal energies? We have child sacrificing, people getting pregnant just for that crap. Or somebody just took revenge on something that happened because somebody did die within something. And so they, they, they plotted some stupidness because we have another woman involved in something that happened. I mean, that somebody really strategized something in a very big way. Could, could be, um, yeah, the, obviously there's death here. There's lots of fortune here, again. Uh, you could be dealing with somebody who um, likes to eat peanut butter. We have the PBP or the PP, PB is here. That also take you back to the, the, the PB. That's a um, television network, I think, as well. So, so we do have the star out here. So anything that brings in some type of a connection. So we have the sorrow card here, and that goes back to the widow. Uh, we had the widower, I believe, come out in the fix sign reading. I want to say that that came out. Um, we have so the fortune card. It's something that's going to end up being fortunate. There's bereavement out here for some type of grievous loss that's taken place. And everything stolen will be given back to you because that wording also had came out as well. But there is a lot of money around something that's taken place here. And somebody really did die in a very bad way. And it was plotted. It makes me want to vomit. It really did that these type of people even exist in the earth. It makes me want to vomit. So we have an older person here. Okay, so th this would be like the uh, hermit type of car. Real high volume wisdom in this deck. But you could be dealing, because the empress has all four queens within her. She'd represent somebody mature. So somebody mature could very much be here. If there was fortune around the death and somebody plotted some stupidness around that, then that's what's showing here. But we do have wisdom within something. Uh, we have a reunion, and we actually had the word reunion in another card deck. So there was something that happened around some type of a reunion type of an energy uh, that it did. Okay, so I'm going to take from this homie deck. Pack your bags, baby, because you're going places, but something was plotted within that. We actually even had the RV come out and, and something like that. Let's go back to a, um, a tent here, okay? Also, a patriarch of a family. We got four queens within the empress. We got somebody that's got wisdom and money. And so there was somebody of importance here that something happened. But somebody said, come on, let's pack your bags. We're going places, baby. And where they went, it, they ended up getting sacrificed and, and died within something. Oh, i got to put my glasses on. You're getting a scripture. Let them be ashamed and brought to confusion. This is a confusion card right here with the hangman. So would the uh, moon card that's here. Okay. Um, let them be ashamed and brought to confusion together that rejoice at my hurt. Let them be clothed with shame and dishonor that magnify themselves against me. And let them shout for joy and be glad that favor my righteous cause. Yea, let them say continually, let Jehovah be magnified, which, which has pleasure in the prosperity of his saints. And my tongue shall speak of thy righteousness and praise thee all the day long. And we do have something coming back. We have bereavement. Okay, and so those people who have the uh, ability to bring something back to where it belongs, let you be praised for doing an honorable thing for somebody who's had a, bereave, a, a grievous loss uh, within the bereavement that is owed to them. A soldier is here. Okay, well, a soldier is here. Now, the soldier card in this deck is somebody that you cannot trust that person. Okay, it's like I'm coming in, I'm going to love you, and then I'm going to leave you right afterwards. But if you know, somebody was uh, in the Navy, then there was a soldier energy there, then there was. Okay, um, there's a an arrangement or a placement of something 
uh, created out of some type of an order. Well, we got we got a soldier energy here. Okay, so what somebody was ordered to do something, there was a bribe there. Okay, somebody was forced to do something. So somebody with short hair is here, and there's counsel here. Well, there is counsel here. Somebody tries to sabotage something, I guess. It, malicious energy is here. Um, so there's something very much emotional. But there's also compassion being shown here as well. We have a bereavement energy here for somebody's lost somebody that has went through hell and high water. Uh, somebody has been a liar. We have the liar card here. And somebody needs to listen to their gut or they didn't. Or they didn't. Uh, destitute and forsaken. And somebody has been in need of food and shelter. Well, somebody was thrown out. And it was plotted that way, people. It was plotted that way from some stupid coot that did some stupid, okay? A family reunion is it? Well, we have a reunion right here, okay? We already know about that. Those of you who missed that um, general reading for the 25th of uh, February, please go watch that reading. I won't put it down below. Just go back on my wall and, and uh, find the date. That was an extremely profound reading that came out when somebody was just, they were too far in it. They were very well known. And by God, I know that you're destitute and lonely, but I cannot let you uh, win something because I, I, I'm known. And so it's just going to have to be this type of way. But Jehovah's fixing to put somebody down in a very bad way for being cruel. Within some type of situation, there was a consequence here to somebody's stupidness. There was bad confusion here within some somebody's situation. They really caused a ruckus, and uh, somebody's going to go to jail. They need to go to jail. You're always going to knock somebody down, okay? And they're going to go to hell for what they did if they don't repent. This will come out for your reading. Until next time, shalom.